Hi, and welcome to my World of Warcraft user interface customization tutorial. I'm going to walk you through setting up your own custom user interface. With Dragonflight came the new feature Edit Mode, which makes it really easy to change your bars around and put them where you want them without using any add-ons. To do that, go to the game menu by clicking on the question mark or hitting the escape key and then go to options. In options under gameplay, select action bars and then check each of the bars that you want on. Now we can see them all. In the game menu, click edit mode and you can select any item on the page. You get a little info or options window that pops up for each one that you click. For action bars, you can have them visible or you can turn them off or you can have them pop up only in combat or out of combat or hidden. For my main, I like to have them visible always. By turning off always show buttons, the button bar will be hidden until you mouse over it. So for my main layout, I like to move the chat button up a little bit and put action bar one down in that corner. But I also like to hide the art and the bar scrolling. Put that down there. Make it a little smaller. And move on to the next one. For these sidebars, I like them on the left instead of the right. That way my quest log will butt up against the right hand side. Makes it a lot neater. And we'll take these down to 80% as well. This one. them up make them real nice and there we go for my middle bars I like to have my my button bars right under my character so these will move down about so make them smaller as well And you can also move the options window around if they're in your way. I like to put my character window back where it was. Not quite where it was, but back up where it was. And I put my experience bar up above it. So that's out of the way. And then I can take my target frame and do the same. You can move your target frame anywhere, of course. For each of the other windows that aren't visible, just click on the checkbox and you'll see your party frames is when you're in a five man. Your raid frames is when you're in a raid. Um, you have stance bar for character classes that have stances, pet bars for character classes with pets, and you can move those wherever you need to. So the pet bar, I like to move my cast bar up here so I can see it above my character put my pet bar right below there and move my vehicle exit button that's kind of important to me keep it off to the side so I can always see it and access it quickly stance bar for my warrior I put here so my I can change stances really quickly and then put your other action bars wherever you'd like the other bar that I like to move is the talking head bar because the talking head pops up where it's at it sometimes gets in the way of my buttons so i like to put the talking head bar up at the top 
And again, you can put it wherever you like. And the rest, just toggle them on and off and see if you want to put them wherever you like. I leave the buffs where they're at, I leave the debuffs where they're at, and so on and so on. Boss frames. For my tutorials, I move I move the tooltip up here to the middle, so when I mouse over something, it shows in my frames. So we can leave that there. Another thing that some people like to do is change the bags to vertical so they have more visible space here so they can read their quest log or use their, their mini mini map or what have you. And that's about it. Once you're done, click on the layout menu and select new layout. And we will call this new layout. And that's it. One last thing before I go is a very powerful, very useful pro tip. We're going to create a macro so you can click a button to toggle between your layouts. And this is really cool for anybody who has custom layouts for PvP or for raiding or for any aspect of the game. For me, I have my main, which is what you see here, and then I have no buttons, so when I record video, none of my buttons are showing in the video. So let's do that. Now, to create a macro, we just go into our game menu, hit the macros button, and the macros panel comes up. Hit the new button, call it layouts, or whatever you want to call it, and pick an icon. I like this little map here, so we're going to use that. Hit OK. Then we copy and paste this script, which I have included in the description. Paste it into the macro field. And then where it says change me one, change me two, change me three, we change these to the layout names that we want to cycle through. So in my case, I have main for my gaming layout and then I have no buttons for my filming layouts and for the third one I don't have a third one so I'm just going to delete these characters from this script and that's it save it and then drag your little map to your button bar and there you have it. You have a script that toggles between your layouts. How nifty is that? Well, thanks for watching. Enjoy your new custom layouts. Have fun putting your stuff wherever you want. And have a great day.